J.D. Power & Associates reported transport owners of ranked Pontiac tied for number one in compact truck sales. We build this is actually the concept of the Pontiac Transport and this was introduced back in 1986 and the concept itself was a pretty futuristic design it didn't look like anything on the roads at the time and it even had a Nintendo 8-bit system <laughs> built in for the passengers which I think is really cool you can see here that we also have this big glass roof which unfortunately did not make it into the production version you also had the this door right here was a going door so it's opened up like this the entire side of the car just basically opened up like a lamborghini door in a minivan which was also something that's never been seen before that's also you know something that didn't obviously made it into production but i think this, this concept actually looks really good but not just the features didn't translate in the production version. I don't think the shape and the design and the futuristic feeling of the concept really translated well into the pro into the production version either. So what I'm gonna do today is take the Pontiac Transport from 1990 and redesign this into a modern version of itself. This is not a car that you want to have an accident in. It was supposed to be a sporty minivan, but the, it, the crash tests are just horrible to look at. Ouch. And that was the later version of this. So this came before the version that I just showed the crash test off. So have a look at these design features that we have in the transport. This is typical 90s styling and graphics having these designs or styling features in the bumpers. It was supposed to be give it a more of a rugged look and be not uh, be so uh, sensitive to bumps and so on. If you have kids throwing their bicycles onto the side, this type of material was supposed to withstand those types of uh, activities or situations and I also think these wheelhouses look very interesting they're kind of squared off so this is something that I want to round off and have this chamfer that we have in modern cars and this piece which I think is a typical a very uh, clear identifier for the transport is this piece right here what I'm gonna do with this move it back so that it creates almost like a, a spoiler in the rear so move it back to this point and then have this entire piece be completely made up of glass and of course we need to change the wheels and also work on these graphics I'm gonna take the Kia Carnival graphics in the front end the headlights redesign them and make them fit kind of the the same position we have in the original transport right here then I'm gonna take a, a modern looking bumper and a applied onto here I think I'm gonna remove these because it's very hard to integrate these type of graphics without it looking like a BMW so I'm gonna try and figure out something else to do here maybe add some more styling in the hood and so on with that said let's jump into the redesign and let's see how this transport is going to turn out what if it came back in 2023 that's what we're gonna try and figure out here so the Pontiac Transport was pretty much ahead of its time when it came to design it was introduced in 1990 and it was designed to provide families with the functionality of a minivan but with a sporty and stylish design that would appeal to those who wanted a more thrilling driving experience now this was a bold move for Pontiac a brand that was known for producing muscle cars and sports cars but the company wanted to tap into a growing market for minivans at the time and offer a vehicle that would stand out from the competition the transport was a futuristic aerodynamic style complete with a sloping hood rounded body very 90s curved lines and it was unlike anything on the road at this specific moment under the hood the transport was powered by a 3.8 liter v8 engine with plenty of power for acceleration the engine was paired with a four-speed automatic transmission and front wheel drive Drive, making it a pretty smooth and res responsive vehicle to drive however it's, there are some safety concerns which I showed you before in, in the crash test you really don't be in an accident in a transport one of the most unique features of the transport was its interior design because the minivan was designed to provide for passengers with a comfortable and spacious interior complete with leather seats power windows and an advanced climate control system and the interior was also designed to be versatile with the ability to fold down the second and third row seats to provide ample cargo space this made the transport ideal for families who needed a vehicle that could accommodate both people 
and cargo and it was actually selling really well it was one of the top selling minivans on the market unfortunately the transport was discontinued in 1997 as the market for minivans shifted towards more traditional designs and more so SUVs despite its brief lifespan the transport remains a beloved vehicle that is remembered for its bold design and innovative features the minivan was ahead of its time and paved the way for future generations of minivans that would offer a sporty driving experience Okay, so this is the redesign of the Pontiac Transport. So what I wanted to do here, first of all, the main thing here is to make it look like a modern car. And I think we need to do that. We the easiest way to do that with any 80s or 90s car is just to remove all the trim pieces, the cut lines and the graphics. If you do that, you already have a pretty modern looking uh, whatever car you're sketching. But doing that and then lowering it to the ground, that those are two things that if you want to modernize a car, if you do those th two things, you're pretty much halfway there so i wanted to create a modern looking front end but still have it be very reminiscent of the 1990 uh, transport so i took the kia carnival lights and i remolded them and redesigned them a little bit to make them fit this specific package and then i took the front bumper from the i think this was a honda odyssey and also redesigned that as well too yeah because i think those graphics they work well together the headlight and the, and the rear bumper and i like this styling that we have in the 1990s transport in the bottom of the side this triangular shape so if we sharpen that shape up a little bit and have it connect with the rear bumper and the front bumper with some lines it will it looks like a really cool design still today and of course moving down that uh, identifier which is the white bar uh, that went across right behind the front doors I want to move that back and almost create a Sang Yong style in the rear end by having this bar go up into the rear end and creating a spoiler for the top part of the of, of the car and then of course last but not least we need to have some proper wheels I can't help myself when it comes to wheels it doesn't matter if I'm sketching an SUV a, a mid-engine supercar or a minivan I always want to have wheels that fit nicely in the wheelhouse and this is no exception to that so I just added some Vossen wheels here onto this transport and I think it looks really cool this is a minivan that I would love to drive around in if we have a V6 maybe 250 horsepower power under there it looks like a cool design and you can see that I also took the line from this wing that goes in, in the up in the rear have that line can I create a shoulder line that then goes in to the corner of the front headlights so we have some styling in the side of the of the minivan and this line in addition to the lower shadow triangular line at the bottom of the side it creates a pretty athletic slim looking side view and I think that looks good having those contrast surfacing one surface pointing upwards having a be, be that a little lighter with that is a shoulder line and then you have the baseline being a little darker almost creating a nice waist for this package since it is a minivan we might as well play around with some graphics to try and reduce the visual weight of this car and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you like these type of videos i'll see you in the next video take care
Imagine being able to sketch anything you want with pen and paper and get the proportions and perspective right every single time. That's what I teach my students inside my online course, Analog Designer Pro Pack. You learn everything from what basic tools to use in your sketching, how to get the perspective right using my unique cloud sketching technique, and how to nail the proportions of your car and product sketches by implementing something I call the box sliding technique. These classes have helped thousands of students all over the world quickly improve their sketching. And once you go through the course and actually take it step by step, you'll be able to see your own sketching skills shoot up to a new level. So click the link in the description or go to analogdesignerpropack.com to see everything you get access to inside and check out the results my students are getting by implementing these techniques. And as a bonus, I'll even walk you through my two portfolios that got me into a master's degree in automotive design in Italy and also landed my first job as a designer. It's priceless if you're looking to become a professional designer. So click the link below or go to analogdesignerpropack.com today to learn more. I'll see you on the inside.